What I do is just I like put my whole body forward like this and then squat. But this time I decided to go straight down like squat like uh when you're doing like glutes and stuff. Which I never did that because right when I go down, I hear. What's up, guys? It's your boy Diamond. Welcome back to Diamond Up Cuz. Before we get into the video, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Dom. We almost had 100 subscribers, baby. Let's keep it. Let's keep it going, man. But as you can tell by the title of this video, and if you've been a fan of my channel for a very long time, this is a very different type of video I do on this channel. I felt like I needed to do a variety of things on this channel to help the channel grow even more. And I'm certain all of my older, all of my older fans will love these types of videos as well. I have no doubt. So this. If you could tell by the title of this video, this is about how I ripped my pants while in school. <laughs> now this day started off pretty normal, you know, I get up at 6 a.m., you know, brush my teeth, take a shower, eat breakfast, go to school. Now this was in, uh, I think, 7th grade. This was in 7th grade and it was at the end of the year. We had just finished all of our school work. You know, it was just literally just free time. I was wondering why I was even going to school. At that point you know i was like why am i going to class when there was no class like technically no like real work to do in school but i went anyway just so i could keep that perfect attendance award and get that perfect attendance award 100. i think what i put on that day was like a regular t-shirt and these tight i mean when i tell you tight it was tight like tight uh tapered khaki joggers bro them things were tight bro and i was i wore them to school that day i think when i got to school everybody was calling me like why the world you wearing these uh tight tight jeans you know they thought i was full fool and stuff like that i'm like man it's just my style you know because if you know me i love to wear like skinny like skinny things like a skinny jean i'm a skinny t jean type of guy you know it just fits my style more than like baggy clothing and stuff like that because it fits my body more better you know what i'm saying so i go through the day you know we just doing cool math games and and whatnot, just cool math games, unblock game 66, uh, all these just movies, movies on movies on movies, every class. And I get and I get to history class. Now history class is our last subject, our last class of the day. It's my last class it was my last class of the day. We watched the movie. I forgot what the movie was called. We had finished it before class finished. So in like the last 10 minutes or 20 minutes of class, we just sitting there talking you know doing rap battles i'm standing up there with the homies you know my boy goober thomas garrett no not thomas garrett all them boys you know we was we was cooling you know we was talking i had a pencil in my hand i dropped the pencil now people know how hard it is to bend over pause or squat when you have skinny jeans on what i do is just i like put my whole body forward like this and then squat but this time i decided to go straight down like squat like uh when you're doing like glutes and stuff which i never did that because right when i go down i hear <laughs> and i'm and you know how an anime they just look and, and like in shock and they're like oh you know like that's how I was. Now I had my trumpet in hand, like my trumpet case in hand with my trumpet in it, cause I was in band. I have a band story to tell y'all, but that's gonna come in a in a later video. That's another story for another time. I had my trumpet case, so right when I get up, I you know what I'm saying I had to put it over, cause that the, the, I'm gonna tell you this, the the rip was big. It was a big rip, and you could see my underwear. Like dude, I had boxers on with a slit, like you know like a slit where you you know what I'm saying. So I ain't. You know, I was like, I didn't want it to like fall out and everybody seeing everything. So I had to put it over and I had it like that for like the next 15 minutes of the class. And when I had to go to the car rider line and all that around like at least minimum 50 people, like I had to walk past to get there. Now my boy, like I had was standing there like real stiff. My boy Google was like, you good bro? And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And he looked down 
I ain't know because it looked like I was covering up some. And it was like right before we were going to leave. So he dapped me up and said, all right. And he looked down and he, he starts laughing. So I had to rush out of there because I don't know what he was going to say. I heard him talking to my boy Garrett. I think he thought I had like a, you know what I'm saying? A, mm, you know? And so I go. I go in the car line, I'm rocking real slow, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm looking around, seeing if anybody looking down at all. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm free, I'm cool, I'm cool. So boom, I go. I go outside, I take, go straight, take a right to the to one of my friend's mom classes because she, she taught her special ed class there. I went in there. You know, I'm cool with the, I was cool with the kids in there, you know what I'm saying? I was like friends with most of them, you know, and I was like real nice with them and they were real nice too. And you know, I'm just sit, uh, standing there waiting because it was like hot, bro. It was like real hot. It was at least like 95 degrees. I live in the south and it gets hot down here. I go in there, you know, and she, she wants to see my trumpet. Like she literally asked, oh, can I see your trumpet? I'm like, huh? Huh? He's like, can I see your trumpet? I'm like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So boom, right? I almost dropped the trumpet. Like I almost dropped it but I, I'm able to keep it up. She wanted to see it, so I had to put my hands over my, my crotch area so she couldn't see the, the thing. And it, I looked so weird. And she had it for like five, two minutes, two to three minutes. So I was just standing there like stiff with my hand over my my crotch area, my rip in my pants so that she wouldn't, that nobody would see it. And after that, I see my, I see my dad pull in to pick me up. And so, boom, I book it. I'm with my homie too, and me and him, like, we ride together. Like, I drop him off at his house. So, me and him, or him and I were, got in the car, and I told my dad, yo, dad, I ripped my pants. And he just, he just cracked up laughing. He kept laughing the whole ride back. And my homie, he's the only one I think knows besides my dad, who knows that I ripped my pants in school. Now, the people who are watching this have pro probably didn't know this either, if you know me from school, but yes, I did wear my pants in school. And moral of the story, don't wear tight pants, really. Don't wear tight pants and try to bend over and squat like I did. So if you enjoyed the video and enjoyed this story time and want me to keep doing these, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy down. We almost at 100 subscribers. Let's keep it going. Hey, if you like the video, why not like it? Because how can you like a video and not like it? God bless. Peace out. 100. Back.